Hey guys, my name's Ben and welcome back to episode 2 of your basically season 2 Java game development tutorials. And today we're going to be doing about double buffering and rendering things um, better. So basically you will see how this will work in a minute. What we are going to do is we're going to make a few uh, more variables. We're going to make an image called I and that's all it's going to be. I'm going to make a graphics and call this uh, dbg for double buffered graphics. Uh, now let's import. Oh wait, thought it froze. Import image from java.awt and graphics from java.awt. We can actually remove all of this and just put a star there, so that will uh, that will help us a lot. Um, so anyway, what we are going to want to do now is create our render class. So in our while running loop we want to do render like that. So let's hover over this and create method render. Uh, now in our render class we want to make a buffer strategy. So buffer stra strategy. It's an awkward word to type. Buffer strategy called BS equals this. Or we don't even need to put this. Just do get buffer strategy like that. So now if we hover over buff buffer strategy, import buffer strategy from awt.image um, and what we want to do is if bs double equal signs null so if buffer strategy just doesn't yet equal anything then what we want to do is do create buffer strategy 2 because we're making a 2d game we want to put that as 2 and then return so we want to return out of this render uh, loop now what we want to do after this is do graphics g equals bs dot get draw graphics and what that's doing is it's getting the graphics from the buffer strategy so that we can draw on the screen now what we can do is actually uh, set the background color so um, set background um, and let's just make a new color I don't know if you could do this you can, you can either do this two ways you can do color dot and then lots of colors come up or you can make your own color so new color and let's go 1062 um, yeah, 10, 62, 91. Um, so that, that's red, green, blue. So red, there's not really very much red. There's going to be sort of a bit of blue and then 91. And that's out of 255, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. So we can do G dot uh, set color. Um, and then just, let's just do color dot white. So we're going to set the color we're going to paint with as white. And then we can do, we can do G dot. Uh, fill rectangle at I don't know. Um, can I, uh, let's do. We can do yeah. Uh, four hundred minus no so so three hundred and fifty. Um, two hundred and fifty. And then fifty fifty. So that should be sort of centered on the screen. Um, and then that we can just do the general stuff which updates the screen so bs.show so that's going to show everything we've drawn with the draw graphics uh, we're going to do our update method which is going to actually um, let's put that in um, annotations for now and it's going to take graphics in its parameters and that's going to be our double buffering and then we're going to do bs.dispose like that so if we uh, run this class now you should find that we have this blue, sort of nice blue background with this white square in the middle. Um, now let's go and make our update method. So, uh, what this is normally used for is it's used for things in uh, um, it's it's used for more stuff when using JFrames. But if we uh, go down here and press Control Space, uh, you'll see that actually uh, we've got this update method. And this update method gets called uh, when you paint something, or when, when the paint method is used. And it's raining, so you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my window. It is raining a lot, so let's get the window and let's close it. I bet you heard that, the window just closed. <laughs> so anyway, in our update method, this is going to get called every so often. <coughs> every so often, just, just, just decides it likes to get called. And as you can see, um, if we could press control space. Oh, wait. I think I just told it to print. I think I pressed Control P. Yes, I did. Okay, so if we press Control Space, um, there's going to be this paint method. Um, so, yeah, 
we could also put this stuff in in the paint method um, but we're not going to we're going to do it in the render method because I like the render method anyway so in our update method what we're going to want to do is if I which is the image we created earlier is equal to nothing um, so if I does not yet equal anything then what we're going to do is we're going to do I equals create image and um, in the image we're just going to do get width and get height so this is getting um, this is going to create an image of the screen so of of the um, frame we have at the moment um, so and then double buffer graphics so dbg um, equals i dot get graphics that we just got from that screen okay hope you're following so far so anyway um, then we're going to return out of this and format that up a little bit um, okay so what happens now is you have to do returned out of that when it loops again it's going to do dbg dot set color and the color is going to be the background color so get background and what we want to do after this is dbg dot fill rectangle um, at zero so the top left uh, at, sorry at zero zero so the top left and then get width Oh, get width like that and get height um, so what it's doing is it's going to start at 0 0 and span the whole width of the of the uh, of the screen so what that's doing is it's 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 potentially um, uh, it's it's replacing the screen with the screen and you'll, you'll see uh, I'll tell you why uh, this is used in a minute. So, so dbg dot set foreground. Oh, sorry, sorry. Dot set color, and no, not clip. You stupid thing. And get foreground. So we're going to set the color now to the foreground color, and we are going to paint with our double buffered graphics. Okay. So after we've painted with our double buffered graphics, we're going to do g dot draw image. Now don't press enter here. Just click off and put two brackets because else it gives you loads of parameters you don't want and in here we just want to draw it i zero zero and then um, null now I'm going to explain all of this really slowly for you so when we paint on the screen this method is going to get called um, which is when we render now what happens here is if i which is the image we created earlier is equal to nothing so if i has not yet been initialized we're going to create an image which is going to be the entire width of the, um, size of the screen width and height of the screen now we're going to set our double buffer graphics equal to the graphics we get from the image we've just created and then we're going to return out of the loop return out of this um, method sorry the next time this is called it's going to say oh so i does equal something let's skip this entire bit double buffer graphics which now equals the graphics we got from the image we're going to set the color to the background color and just fill a rectangle of the background with um, the entire screen we're going to set the foreground color to, we're going to set the color now to the foreground color and we're going to paint on the screen um, with our double buffered graphics um, we're then going to draw an image of I which is the entire size of the screen uh, at zero zero, so the offset to zero, and it fills the entire screen. And an image observer isn't going to be equal to anything. So what this is doing is it's stopping flickering. You, uh, why you ask? Well, this is because if um, paint uh, for some reason flickers or when it's updating, it it destroy it disposes of the screen, and your computer is is not doesn't have a fast enough processor speed to tick fast enough or clock fast enough so that it will update the screen faster than your eye can tell there's a gap in between it we're just gonna cover the screen with what it was before so I hope you understand that um, so if we actually run this now it's gonna look it's gonna look the same but it, there's actually a lot more going on there um, so that is basically that's it for this tutorial we've learned about rendering on the screen and we've learned about updating and double buffer graphics so if you've got any questions guys just post them in the um, comment section or send me a private message um, and either me or Owen will answer you um, I'd just like to say it now early on today is the 16th of August for people if you are 
from the future and you are past the 29th of August 2012 uh, don't listen to this just skip the tutorial goodbye guys I'll see you in the next tutorial hello people of present day um, <laughs> I'm going on holiday uh, this Sunday the 19th so there won't be any videos uh, to do with programming after then unless I do that sort of stuff or something happens I don't know but you will see um, so yeah thank you guys for watching in the next tutorial we're going to be about changing game states which is going to be something that um, it's going to be interesting I don't know we'll either do changing game states or animation which is something that I think should be taught quite early on um, so yeah uh, I'll see you guys next time. Then.